Hello everyone. Welcome. I'm Corporate. Um <laughs> I'm Corporate. Today we are in Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Yep, yes. We're playing another Star Wars game rather than Bowron 2 today. Because I wanted to continue my journey, but the thing is I want thing is I wanted to show you how I've been doing so far. Thing it but but I have forgot what to do. So let's just continue on gameplay for now. Here we go. Okay. I'm moving now. Okay. So I can't get back here. What am I supposed to do then? Oh no. Oh! <laughs> I, th I think I just saw something. A creature just down there. Now I need this. I need some. How do we get up there? What a failure! Failure. Um. Screen is my one. My screen is kind of touchy. I'm not gonna uh, to look at OBS then. Get up. How do we do this? Bruh. Come on, bruh. Let's do this. Let's just try to do this fast, shall we? How do I get up there? Am I supposed to get up there or? Oh! How do I get up there? Do I have to go back to where I was? I get to go back to where I was. Think you can show me that shortcut again? Oh. Where am I right now? In my air. How's to get here? Let's 
just want to fight some stormtroopers along the way. I just wish I had someone to fight. I mean, with my green lightsaber, I... Yeah, plus there's this new Star Wars game called It's Jedi Survivor. I think it's based on the... It's just based on the... Okay, Fallen Order. What am I supposed to do? So, do I go here? No, I think it's just the way I went here went before. Try... Back up there. Oh. Bro, I'm like, what do I click? I think I pressed I'll be. So like, just need. Let's try this again. I'll keep climb. Let's try again. I'll keep. That's me. Am I facing that way? Okay. Oh, it goes the opposite way. Yeah, it goes the opposite way. Am I going the wrong way? Or... Oh, whoa. Okay, dead end. Let's see. That's a really bad idea. Was I here before, or... I wish I could just restart my journey so I can enjoy the, my whole experience. But I just want to continue my journey that I was in before, so... <laughs> Alright, man, just... Oh, no. Bruh. Come on. Seriously. Okay. Okay, went too far. Should I go? Okay. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's kind of brutal. Yeah. 
don't want to do that. You're going to the right position. in there. New poncho material. Angel poncho. Keep falling. What's the poncho? Uh, oh, my, my clothes, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna try this one. I actually forgot what to do in this story. Oh. Too early. How do I get over this thing? Oh, keep falling! Come on! How am I supposed to make that jump? That, or how am I supposed to put that thing down? So, let's try to climb this thing.
here once again. I think I'm doing the right thing. Trying to... I'm not supposed to stay. So this is where I'm not supposed to be. It's the vault. How do I do that? in the right direction before. Did I? Okay. Just 
see them. Oh, great, the make on the wall. I'm here at some point along the zip line. Sweet. I have to climb that in and then. Oh. Come on. Hang on, I need to feel like it's needed. Ugh. Never mind. Oh. oh. <gasps> Basically here. through here. Okay, here we go. Boom. Boom. Yes! Oh, let's go! See there? Oh, it's on. There it is. So I reached the vault. Now what do I do? We're not finished yet. Deep mountain. Okay. okay what am I doing? You probably would have won. Probably. Meditation. Oh, that's it. Right in. <laughs> this is very amazing. Yeah. Well done, whoever you are. You have passed the test I left behind and gained access to the vault and this recording, one of many encrypted logs stored in the droid. I am Master Eno Cordova. I may not know your name, but I know your purpose. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. This place, this vault is a sacred temple built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the force, a vision of doom. I have placed inside this? this vault a Jedi holocron 
containing a list of the names and locations of young force sensitives throughout the galaxy. Ahead, you will find the inner chamber of the vault, but also another test. I can only trust this holocron to someone who has followed my path and understands. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the Force as the Zepho once did. In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Go to the Zepho homeworld. There, you will find peace in the eye of the storm. Good luck, Jedi. And may the Force be with you. Sorry, I wasn't listening to the whole conversation. Was it? Yeah. yeah, I listened to it, but I keep forgetting. I guess you were the someone I was supposed to meet. You know, I've been alone for a while now, without any purpose, just hiding. There's no way to live, not for a Jedi or a droid. Maybe Seer was right. Maybe we're done hiding. Hey, you want to meet some, uh, Friends of mine. Let's go back in there with it. It's on my back now. Okay. What do I do now? I think I have to return to the ship. BD1, mm -hmm. just checking on you. Good job. Oh, dead. Oh. I think I found what you wanted me to see. Sounds like you did. We'll be waiting. Oh, oh, oh. Holy mo! Oh, oh. There you go. Dead now. Who are you supposed to be? There's the ship. I have to get back to it now. Scanning again? Find something?
Ya mah sama sama aja. Zepho had some interest in Dathomir. Strange. For such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. What is that? Fascination on the Dathomir. Dathomir. I feel like fighting some storm troopers right now. Okay. Where's my droid? Where are you? There you go. Find something? Wait. Meditate. Should be a lot quicker than the way in. There we go, there's the ship, I see it. Okay. Don't fall in those holes. Oh, don't fall in them. I come. Oh, there, the boarding. Where is it? I'm supposed to avoid there. Okay, go jump, pump, jump over that. You passed the test. So you knew about BD1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. BD1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? Get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! No! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil state out of patoli weed fabric? Not really. Oh, I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grease. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. It contains a list of Force-sensitive children. The next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. 
And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A hollow what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Use the Force. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. With that list of Force sensitives, we could rebuild yeah, the Jedi Order the same and defeat in the, the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's that was get it. Well, except the holocron is hidden deep how inside he, the How did he get the holocron message? He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zeppo holocron. I think it's all in all, all right, well, Where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look, before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? Good question. I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. Dathomir is Zepho. I keep it's hiding and I keep fighting. Okay. Well, now what do I do? Hold on. I can go out again. Next. Alright, what? Sappho. I think this is the one I'm on right now. Wait, actually. Sappho Mirror. So never. Okay. Hang on, I'm gonna do some stuff. Seer. Can you feel the force at all? Yes. But instead of opening up, I push it back down. The exact opposite of what you should do. Out there, I remembered something about myself before the purge. It was painful, but like I found a piece of myself. That's good. You're learning to embrace the force again. How can you say that? Because I know what it means to live without it. Okay, I'll keep trying. We'll talk later. Where are we headed? Right, so I've been there. Actually, I don't know. Probably. I don't know if there's a um, spawn troopers on that button. I mean. Hanger. Definitely going to there. Zepho. I'm gonna go there. To hold it. Ah, uh, Zepho. My favorite place. Ooh, yes. I chose the right one. Wait, what? What? What is that thing saying? I don't know why people have toys. Tell that to him. He can understand you. He can? Look, I, I didn't mean anything by it. Droids just freak me out. What doesn't? You sound like an amp. They deactivate droids just because they can. 
That makes him one of us. Huh. Oh. Tough break. I take it back. You're all right, buddy. All right, we're here. Get in your chair. What I mean, so I don't. Okay, never mind. Think of a There's storm something. brewing down there. This might not be the best time to land. Eh, something strange. Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to get there. Copy that. Bob's ain't gonna kill you, kid. <laughs> Unless the wind picks up. Can you tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure everything's under control. Because it's under control, it's just a little tricky. <laughs> Easy money, baby. Uh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference on the comms. It's gonna take me a minute to get them back up. I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be in touch once I crack this. Well, it's tough I chose the right planet to be. Cal, over here. You did okay. good work on Bagano. Hold that thought. All right, let's pick where we go next. So I was hoping the right point one, the one where storm some truck storm should be running. The one open. And the other side. Watch. Okay, so I just hit them two. Okay, nice. Right, there are lots of soldiers here. Where do I go?
Oh. Be careful. Be careful here. Oh. Um. Watch out, BD. Don't look friendly. Oh, that was brutal, bro. Check it out. Cal, can you hear me? The Empire. They found Zeppo. If they were following the Mantis, we would have been swarmed already. Could they be looking for the tombs? Let's hope not. Just got our comms working. I'll try the same workaround to crack into theirs. One of these things, anyway, signals. I died. Oh. 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 I just sliced it up. But I want to call him low health now. Very dark. <laughs> Mother used this fabric to keep her child warm. They were on the run from something.
I thought they would see me. Bro. Okay, he's dead now. Let's go, BD1. Abandoned village. Oh, hang on. Never mind. Oh wow, perfect timing. Check it out. Warning. Where are you taking us? The Empire's forced the villagers from their homes. Frightened refugees shipped off to work camps. Or worse. This village on the Where do we go exactly? This way. I see. I see someone. I need to sneak up. Bro, I thought you already saw me.
Reinforcements are on the way. Give up now. Uh. I see you. <sighs> Can you slice this? <laughs> yeah, sorry about your scoff link. But standing up to that bog rat, pretty brave. Must Don't be fall behind, BD1. Scoffling. Must be. Ah, so I just went around. somewhere. Oh. Pretty hard to be honest. Good work. Oh, we did it. We did it. I hope you're not hurt. What are you looking at? Who are you talking to? Uh, just my ship. The Manus. Good name, right? Intimidating. Oh, what do you know? You've probably never even flown a ship. Maybe I'll teach you one day when you're done with your. Jedi stuff. I'll even give you a discount. It's dangerous being on the run, huh? You're telling me. You lose someone? His name is Prof. Traded his life for mine. Sounds like a tough, strong guy. <laughs> Not far from myself. He was. Since the day I stepped foot on Braca, he watched over me. Never complained. Never complained? On that trash heap? I just hope he didn't do it for nothing. They never do, kid. They never do. Nice landing, Grease. Me? Oh, yeah. Not a problem. It's easy for a skilled pilot like myself. Especially when flying a ship like this. <laughs> Hold that thought. Hey, kid, don't lead those troopers to us. Get moving. You two have been through a lot. It's not easy. No, it's not. But I think of those who Talk believed in me at one point. If I give up on myself, then I give up on them. I'm sure you have a few of those. Prof, a friend on Braca. He sacrificed himself so I could live. He believed in you. A lot of people depend on you, even if they don't know it yet. Keep going, Cal. For Prof. For everyone. BD wants a helpful droid. He does seem to be warming up to you. Cordova must have really liked droids. 
He decided to leave such important information with BD-1. I only assume he chose BD-1 because he needed some sort of ability to store encrypted information. These exploration droids are good tools for that sort of thing. But I'm sure he's more than that. You better get going, Cal. Time's always important, but with the Empire here... How are you okay with Okay, that's it for today. I'll see you. I'll see you next time. So, yes, and we'll just finish now. So, thank you guys for watching this Jedi Fallen Order video. Although it took me a while to get off the uh, my planet that I was on earlier. So, um, yeah, I'll see you next time in part two. See you guys. Bye.